Which of the following microbes is the most common cause of infectious vomiting and diarrhea in infants and small children? A. E. Colibacteria. B. Giardia parasite. C. Norovirus. D. Rotavirus. The answer is D. Rotavirus. The majority of infectious vomiting and diarrhea in infants and young children is viral in origin, with the most commonly implicated virus being rotavirus. Norovirus is another common cause of viral gastroenteritis in individuals of all ages, though it is not as common in young children as rotavirus. Zika virus is primarily dangerous to which of the following populations? A. Young children. B. Unborn fetuses. C. Pregnant women. D. The elderly. The answer is B. Unborn fetuses. In most children and adults, Zika virus causes a mild fever characterized by myalgia, fatigue, and headache. The population most at risk for serious complications from the disease is unborn fetuses. Exposure to Zika virus before birth has been associated with microcephaly, a frequently fatal disorder of abnormal skull and brain development. Who is the biggest killer on the planet? 1 million deaths every year. The most deadly animal in the world is the mosquito. It might seem impossible that something so minuscule can kill so many people, but it's true. According to the World Health Organization, mosquito bites result in the deaths of more than 1 million people every year. The majority of these deaths are due to malaria. The World Health Organization estimates that between 300 and 500 million cases of malaria occur each year, and a child dies from malaria every 30 seconds. Adds mosquitoes, are daytime, sun up to sundown, biters but will sometimes bite after dark, when there is illumination from outdoor lights, or when they get indoors. These mosquitoes can normally be found resting in dense shrubbery during the day where the humidity is high and where they are least affected by the hot sun. They transmit Zika, yellow fever, dengue fever and chikungunya, anophils mosquitoes, hang out in the lower levels of thick plants and especially tall grasses. They are active during the evening and night hours. They are referred to as leg or ankle biters because of their low flying preference. These mosquitoes don't like the hot, dry sun and prefer the higher humidity at night. They transmit malaria, filariasis and heartworm. Gulex mosquitoes are most active during the few hours after sunset. Domestic and wild birds are preferred hosts, over man, cows, horses or other mammals. They prefer lying in wait for their hosts in the thick leafy areas of trees where birds are found to nest and roost. They can also be found in tree trunks and animal dens. They transmit West Nile virus, encephalitis, filariasis and avian malaria. Why mosquito bites itch? The saliva contains enzymes and proteins that bypass your body's natural coagulation system. These anticoagulants, along with up to 19 other enzymes and proteins, directly cause the allergic reaction in your body. Your body's immune system responds to these allergens by releasing histamines. Some scientists believe that your very first mosquito bite introduced these allergens to your body and sensitized you to the components of the saliva. This sensitization is responsible for your body sending immunoglobulins to the mosquito bite. Immunoglobulins break down connective tissue and mast cells, which actually release the histamines that make you itch. Mast cells help heal wounds and defend against pathogens, but they play a big part in allergic reactions and inflammation. The histamines they release are commonly combated with antihistamines, which work to stop the itch, life cycle of a mosquito. Eggs. Adult, female mosquitoes lay eggs on the inner walls of containers with water, above the water line. Eggs stick to container walls like glue. They can survive drying out for up to eight months. 
mosquito eggs can even survive a winter. Mosquitoes only need a small amount of water to lay eggs. Bowls, cups, fountains, tires, barrels, vases, and any other container storing water make a great nursery. Larvae. Larvae live in the water. They hatch from mosquito eggs. This happens when water, from rain or a sprinkler, covers the eggs. Larvae can be seen in the water. They are very active and are often called wigglers, pupae. Pupae live in the water. An adult mosquito emerges from the pupa and flies away. Adult. Adult female mosquitoes bite people and animals. Mosquitoes need blood to produce eggs. After feeding, female mosquitoes look for water sources to lay eggs. A. Egypti and A. Albopictus don't fly long distances. In its lifetime, these mosquitoes will only fly within a few blocks. A. Egypti mosquitoes prefer to live near and bite people. Because A. Albopictus mosquitoes bite people and animals, they can live in or near homes or in neighboring woods. A. Egypti mosquitoes live indoors and outdoors, while A. Albopictus live outdoors, scents that repel mosquitoes. Citronella. Basil. Peppermint. Garlic. Rosemary. Lemon balm. Lemongrass. Lavender. Neem. Marigold. Catnip. Bergamot. Eucalyptus. Essential oils for mosquito bite relief. Peppermint oil can have a cooling sensation which will distract your body from the itch. Tea tree oil is antibacterial, antifungal, and anti-inflammatory. This oil can be applied directly to skin, but some might find it dries out the affected area too much. Lavender oil is known for its soothing effect. And mosquitoes hate the smell, so it can prevent future bites, too. Rosemary oil, similarly to lavender oil, can also be effective in repelling mosquitoes for a short time. Chamomile oil is another multifaceted fighter against inflammation and infection. Extra bonus, make some chamomile ice cubes by brewing chamomile tea, then freezing it in an ice cube tray. The cold combined with the chamomile will help soothe the itch. Which of the following are structurally similar to the influenza virus A. Togavaridae. B. Retroviridae. C. Coronaviridae. D. Rhabdoviridae. E. Paramyxoviruses. The answer is E. Paramyxoviruses. Each of these viral families or groups has an RNA genome and envelope. The paramyxoviruses are structurally the most closely related to influenza, since both are negative sense RNA viruses and many of the paramyxoviruses contain aneromandase and hemagglutinin. The viruses in the Togavaridae and Coronavaridae families differ from the influenza viruses in that they have a positive sense RNA genome. Viruses in the Rhabdoviridae family, which includes the vesicular stomatitis virus and the rabies virus, are bacilli form negative stranded RNA viruses. Paramyxoviruses possess hemagglutinin and neuromandase that are present on the A. Golgi bodies. B. Endoplasmic reticulum. C. Nucleus. D. Same spike. E. Different spikes. The answer is D. Same spike. Paramyxoviruses possess hemagglutinin and neuromandase that are present on the same spike. This is in contrast to the ortomyxoviruses that possess hemagglutinin and neuromandase on different spikes. These enveloped, pleomorphic, and ssRNA viruses cause respiratory infections by droplet nuclei or contact transmission. 
These belong to the Ortomyxivirus group and are called what? A. Respiratory syncytial virus. B. Influenza virus. C. Lentiviruses. D. Parainfluenza virus. The answer is B. Influenza virus. The influenza virus is a member of the Ortomyxa virus group and is an enveloped SSRNA virus. Lentiviruses are a group of retroviruses which include HIV-1, parainfluenza virus and respiratory syncytial virus, RSV, belong to the paramyxa virus group. Which of the following is the most common cause of hand, foot, and mouth disease? A. Herpes simplex virus. B. Loss of fever. C. Parainfluenza virus. D. Rotavirus. E. Coxsackie virus A. The answer is E. Coxsackie virus A. Hand, foot. And mouth disease is a vesicular exanthem caused by Coxsackie virus A16. It is characterized by ulcerating vesicles on hand, foot, mouth, and tongue along with mild fever. The disease subsides in a few days on its own. Adenoviruses are transmitted by A. Aerosol droplet B. Fecal oral C. Mosquito bite D. Dick bite E. Direct inoculation of conjunctive bitonometers or fingers The answer is A. Aerosol droplet Adenoviruses are transmitted by aerosol droplets. They are not transmitted by fecal, oral route, direct inoculation of conjunctiva bitonometers or fingers, or tick or mosquito bite. Rubella virus is a member of the family of A. Adenovirus B. Herpes virus C. P. Coronavirus D. Nsreya E. Toga virus The answer is E. Toga virus. Rubella virus is a member of the Toga virus family and not the herpes virus, Nsrai, family of bacteria, adenovirus, and picornavirus. Which of the following clinical conditions is associated with the Coxsackie virus type B? A. Gingivostomatitis. B. Herpangina. C. Bornholm disease. D. Hepatocellular carcinoma. The answer is C. Bornholm disease. Coxsackie virus type B is associated with Bornholm disease seen mainly in older children and young adults. Bornholm disease or epidemic pleurodynia or epidemic myalgia is a disease caused by the Coxsackie B virus. It is characterized by myositis causing paroxysms of stabbing pain in the chest muscles and abdomen muscles. 
Coxsackie virus type A and Coxsackie virus type B are members of the P. Cornavaridae family. P. Cornaviruses are naked viruses with an icosahedral nucleocapsid. The genome consists of single molecule of single-stranded RNA. Coxsackie virus type A is associated with herpanina, which is commonly seen in children. Herpanina is a severe febrile pharyngitis characterized by vesicles or nodules primarily on the soft palate. Subacute sclerosing pain encephalitis is a late neurological sequelae of infection from what virus? A. Parvovirus bin 19. B. Orthria virus. C. Papilloma virus. D. Measles virus. E. Hepatitis B virus. The answer is D. Measles virus. Subacute sclerosing pain encephalitis, SSPE, is a serious, late, and rare neurological complication occurring 1-10 years after recovery from measles. This fatal disease is characterized by a very slow replication and spread of measles virus in the brain. Patients with SSPE do not show a high number of measles viruses in the brain but they demonstrate unusually high levels of measles antibody in the blood and cerebrospinal fluid. Many years after recovering from measles, patients develop changes in personality, behavior, and memory. Those symptoms are followed by myoclonic jerks, blindness, and spasticity.